So the COVID-19 vaccine by Pfizer is out and along with some other ones are out on the market now. And you might be wondering if you should go and get it. And so this video is going to be discussing who should not get the COVID net vaccine according to uh, the professional organizations uh, in the UK. So I'm going to be citing directly from a document that uh, came across my desk this morning and I felt it pretty important to share with you because a big focus for me is, is optimizing lives, especially for un unborn children. And so when I came across this document, I felt that it was important that you get this information uh, in case you really want to get that vaccine. Then there's some things that you should be aware of uh, to help make your decision. Okay. So I'm going to share with you this document that I got uh, right now. And it's this one. Okay. So this is an official document that is referencing the specific vaccine from Pfizer uh, for the COVID-19 virus. Okay. So I'm just going to be scrolling up here. All right. So this is not my information. I'm not advising you to get it or to not get it. I'm strictly sharing with you what I'm finding in this document. Um, and so you can make your decision from there because what's going to happen is you're going to be going to health professionals and some health professionals read this stuff and other health professionals don't. So look, the, the package inserts are long and this document that I'm going to share with you is, is pretty long. And so, but I'm going to just give key summaries. I'm not going to be completely thorough here, but I'm going to point out some key things. And so what you need to understand is when you go and you go to the doctor or a health professional to get a vaccine, there's going to be inconsistencies in what that doctor reads and doesn't read. So you need to be read up yourself. And so here you go. Okay. So, so here we go. This is again, the Pfizer vaccine in the UK. And I'm just going to scroll some things here. The link to this, by the way, is in the notes or the description. Okay. This is first. Okay. This is therapeutic active uh, indications, active humanizations to prevent COVID caused by this virus in individuals 16 years of age and older. Okay. So 16 years and older, that's first. So that that's, that's important to know. So if your child has is 15 or 14, According to this, anything younger than 16 should be excluded. Okay, pediatric population. The safety and efficacy of this Pfizer vaccine in children under 16 has not been established. Okay, these are how to in, in, uh, inject it. And the storage of this thing is ridiculous because it's uh, the temperature requirements are, are really, really... Um, strict. So the stability of this product is, is very difficult. So contraindications, hypersensitivity to any substance within the excipients, which are listed in a different section. Um, and in this section here, that the document that I have is not a full list of excipients that I have seen, um, but there are some. Um, so for example, I don't know if aluminum is in this vaccine or not. Um, other COVID vaccines do have aluminum. Um, and I don't, I didn't see aluminum listed in this excipient here. Um, so special warnings, anaphylaxis. So if you have any, uh, history of anaphylaxis to a vaccine, medicine, or food, um, you know, you should probably be careful with this. So talk with your doctor about that. Second dose, uh, should not be given to those who have experienced anaphylaxis to the first dose. Makes sense, right? But I can tell you right now that I have heard stories where, a parent went in for vaccines with their kids have been injected. Uh, the kids have been injected with the first dose of, of some vaccine. This is not COVID just generally. And they had a horrible reaction. I mean, really severe. And the parent reported it to the health professional and the health professional said, Oh yeah, that that's happens. We still need to vaccinate them. So, this document is saying if they if experience anaphylaxis to the first dose, do not do it. Do not do it. General recommendations. This is important. Okay. So 
individual or the administration of the Pfizer COVID vaccine should be postponed in individuals suffering from acute febrile illness. So if you are currently sick, you know, is it a time to get vaccinated with COVID-19 vaccine? This document is stating no. So I again have heard that regardless of the health of the individual, if you come into the doctor and you're feeling sick, it is an opportune time for that health professional to vaccinate you anyway, because you're in the office. So if you are currently ill, it is not a good time to be vaccinated according to this official document. Anticoagulant therapy or those with bleeding disorders that would contraindicate intramuscular injection. That's pretty standard across the board. Nothing really unique there, but important to know, right? Um, immunocompromised people. So if you are receiving immunosuppressants or diminished immune response uh, to the vaccine, um, you know, that is a uh, caution. Okay. Now, fertility, pregnancy, and lactation. Again, I'm sharing you this document because you will have an inconsistent experience from different health professionals. Some health professionals read this, some don't. So you need to be informed yourself before you make these decisions, okay? Pregnancy, there are no or limited amount of data for use of COVID-19 um, during pregnancy. Animal reproductive studies have not been completed Thus, the COVID vaccine is not recommended during pregnancy. Now, this is specifically discussing the Pfizer vaccine, okay? I don't know about the other ones, but I would assume they're in the same boat, but I'm an assumption, and I'm not making assumptions right here. I'm reading from this document. So the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine is not recommended during pregnancy. Again, you may hear from your health professional that it is okay to take during pregnancy, I am sharing with you this document that says otherwise. For women of childbearing age, pregnancy should, should be excluded before vaccination. Get a pregnancy test before you get vaccinated. In addition, women of childbearing age should be advised to avoid pregnancy for at least two months after their second dose. So you check to see if you're pregnant prior to getting the vaccine. Once you get the vaccine and then you get the second shot, you should not get pregnant for up to two months after receiving the second shot. So again, regardless of what you're hearing from your health professionals or an update to this document, this is official information. Breastfeeding. COVID-19 should not be used during breastfeeding. So women of, uh, who are breastfeeding your child do not get the vaccine. It's not uh, studied. Fertility. It's unknown whether COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine has an impact on fertility. So if you're trying to get pregnant or you're struggling to get pregnant or you, you know, you've been diagnosed with infertility, this is something that you should be discussing with your fertility docs and your, you know, OBGYNs and midwives and what have you, your docs. It's like, Hey, you know, we're trying to get pregnant here and well, if you're trying to get pregnant, you can't get the vaccine, right? If you are pregnant, you can't get the vaccine. If you're breastfeeding, you can't get the vaccine. If you are considering to get pregnant, but you have not had any babies yet and you're not ready to do it for maybe a year or two, you know, this is another question, you know, do you get the shot or not? Because it's not known whether or not the COVID vaccine has an impact on fertility or not. It doesn't say it does just doesn't say that it doesn't. So that's what I wanted to share with you. That is pretty much it. There's a, uh, goes on to other things in this document. Again, the link is in the notes below. So share this with folks, read it yourself, re-listen to it. I also copied and pasted specifically word for word in the description. So those of you who just want to read and scan, it's also in the description below. You can read that. So I hope this helps you take care and uh, be safe.